Oh no. Not again. Man. Broken off in the housing. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. We are back with a WJ. Looks like the Grey Hornet, but it's not the Grey Hornet. My Grey Hornet, there she is, out there in the driveway. I'm helping a friend out. I really wanted to just uh, weld in some spring buckets for her. Uh, you know, I don't know if you can see. It's WJ sitting with a gangster lane, laying low on the driver's side. But uh, we had to get this Jeep to my house so I could do the work. And well, it wouldn't start. Well, actually it did start, but the belt snagged up and uh, it was the stupid tensioner pulley. It's busted. So as you can see, we got some damage here. The whole casing fell apart and well, it ain't gonna work without a casing. Uh, you need these little nipples. We got one little nipple here. Another nipple is supposed to be on this side and this bolt holds it in place, uh, but it's shattered to pieces. So obviously it's not gonna work. Uh, should be a 10 minute fix so long as this bolt comes out. I think this is a T40, uh, nice and easy, maybe a little penetrating oil in there. You do not want to strip this. Worst case scenario is this bolt breaks, but it is special hardened steel. It should be all right. Uh, so you get this baby out. The second uh, worst case scenario is having these little nipples, this corroded aluminum getting stuck right in there. If you can see there, that little nipple is fused into the alternator mounting bracket. Uh, what I might have to do is uh, take off the alternator and then you got bolt here and bolt down there, take off the alternator. And then there's four bolts, one, two, uh, one on the back and one underneath those four bolts. You remove the brackets and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna set up this bracket and drill it out. I'd like to see if I could drill this sucker out right here in place in the Jeep, but um, it's probably gonna be hard to reach and it's gonna be a struggle and that piece of aluminum is so fused that uh, I'm gonna really need to get after it. So by the time I struggle drilling this out, it's probably easier just to pull that piece and set it on the bench. So. Uh, I'm gonna try to uh, mess with this and then you know, whatever I'll waste my time <laughs> and then I'll just take this out Here we go. All right before I get too crazy with disassembly I'm gonna try to get in here with a screwdriver. Maybe a chisel will work whatever you can get in here See if I can bang it out with a hammer and uh, chisel method Yeah, uh, probably not gonna work because uh, ironically I've just did this on Andy's uh, TJ and he's got a nice actually LJ Wrangler Unlimited same thing happened to Andy so uh, I had to take his bracket off and redrill his <laughs> Look at this contraption. I got a right angle drill bit adapter on a drill bit that plugs into the old uh, DeWalt tool. And uh, let's see if I can send this. Can't even see it. There we go. Um, I don't know if I can film this. I need more than one hand. So, uh, yeah, say a prayer. Wish me luck. Here we go. Hey, check it out. Got my hole drilled out. As you can see, come on, fits nice and flush in the nubs. Done. I'll show you how I did it. Got this little contraption set up, and the savior of the day was this. We got this little step up bit right there, 
and uh, that made it nice and large. I started the hole with, where'd it go? Started the hole with this guy. Now, the drill bits are key, but these, the little hex bits, because they plug right in to uh, to this guy. So, yeah, <laughs> this was uh, a little tricky, but a heck of a lot easier. I think it's more time saving than it is wrestling this uh, alternator bracket out. So, uh, yeah, all right, that's, uh, that's about it. We're gonna install this new piece. Let's actually take a look at this piece while we're at it. This I got from uh, what, uh, Advance Auto. That's a Deco belt tensioner. This part number is 89245. Uh, let me show you what not to get. This piece right here, this is a picture I took inside Advance Auto. This is the housing of a brand new one I almost bought, but I opened the box, I checked it, and I saw that the housing had some stress cracks right out of the box. That's exactly what we don't need. So I asked them if they had a different one, maybe a different brand. Boom, they brought out the Deco. And as you can see here, this guy, no stress cracks. And uh, <laughs> we're gonna go with this one. So all right, let's uh, let's get the screw. Where did I put it? This is the factory screw. We're gonna reuse this. Uh, we gotta take out this little rubber. What is this? Is this rubber? Uh, yeah, this little O-ring. I guess that holds the bolt in. So we'll just reuse it. Slide this on. Make sure we put this O-ring back. This probably keeps crap from getting in that bolt hole. I think. Well. Either way, we'll slide that on, and we're gonna cover this in anti-seize. All right, here we go. Gonna anti-seize this shaft really well. And we're gonna get these nuts also, because, uh, well, they're nipples, but I don't know. Shaft and nuts, they go together like lamb and tuna fish, but here we go. You know what? Just slobber anti-seize all over everything. Nice and lubed up. We'll. Uh, Get that going, <laughs> man. What the heck? All right, so that's on, and we're also going to spray the heck out of this uh, this base down in there with WD-40, just because there's shavings of aluminum everywhere. This will clean it up a little bit. Clean it up a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. All right, let's slide this baby in. Get the shaft lined up. Get the nubs in. All right, nipples in. Shaft, nipples, nuts, and shaft. Come on, come on, let's get this schmied in here. All right. Start the threads by hand so they're not cross threaded. There we go, thing of beauty. There we go. All right, there she be. She is in. It looks good. And how we operate our our tensioner is you get the uh, the old breaker bar in there and I got to focus come on focus there we go focus and breaker bar at the same time look at me go all right you get this in here and I just give her a pull boink there we go that gives it the tension spring powered baby so we're just gonna route the belt like so if you don't have your sticker on your shroud anymore then feel free to screenshot this right here print it out and throw this in the glove box of your Jeep. There you go. There you have it. Belt is on in all but 30 seconds. Not too bad. Start with the harmonic balancer, loop it up around the water pump, come over here around the power steering pump, then you come across underneath the idler pulley, loop it around the alternator, and then give yourself some slack with your breaker bar and loop it around the tensioner. Easy peasy, guys. There we go, moment of truth. Ah, oh, battery, dang it. Every time, every time. All right, here we go. Yay! 
All right, guys, that is a success. <laughs> Pretty awesome. I love when things work out, especially when it goes a little bit easier as planned. That's usually not the case, you know, Jeep my life. But uh, this is uh, this is a good one. So, yeah, that's it. I'm going to wrap this one up. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more projects. I got a lot of stuff to show you guys. There's been crazy busy, but, yeah, I got stuff for you. So hang in there. Be patient with me. Uh, more to come. So, yeah, that's it. That's going to do it for this baby. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next project. Peace.